Good morning guys and welcome back. So I'm going to show you guys how to turn your CRV from this boring little space into this. Now with this a lot of people use CRVs for micro camping, full blown campers, um, overlanders, that sort of stuff. Um, and a lot of people, this is for a 2000 to 2007. The boot space is slightly different for the older ones, first gen to third gen and so on. So you might just want to rebuild it and remake it to suit your back platform. Now with the first gen and second gen CRVs, they've got this massive amount of space where the spare wheel, spare wheel would sit, um, but ours is actually on the back tower goat. So we don't have to waste all the storage. And with the first gen and second gen, they come with a picnic table in the back. So I want to utilize that as much as possible. So with that storage and the picnic table, um, and a lot of people actually make a false platform um, and build like a full sleeping platform there. That's a great idea. But we've got two kids, so we kind of need to have a um, back seats in it. Um, so this will be an overlanding sort of setup, camping setup for our kids and family. All the material we'll be using today is recycled. I've either used it before, like this marine carpet, or the timbers I've recycled from work, but I will leave a description of the sizes, the thickness and stuff down in the description below. I'll also do it as we go as well. One thing I will add is I've made these timbers a lot higher here. So there's a bit of a barrier um, higher than the face of this. That way I can reach down and pull out the picnic table. You'll see that in the end. But we're going to wrap these in marine carpet, same as this. Then we're going to put our fridge slide on here as well, and then we're going to use that as underground storage as well. We might actually do a pull-out picnic table, um, a little chopping board as well. So a few things you might need to do this conversion to the back of your CRV. A drill, this is just an Ozzetto one, very cheap from Bunnings. Stanley knife, very cheap. Drill bits. Screws. Tape measure. Staple gun, now all this can be bought from Bunnings, Minor 10, Home Depot, any place like that. Now all this timber I've used, like I said, I've bought from work and I pre-cut it at work. So if you don't have a space where you could cut it, um, like say work or anything like that to cut it, um, you might be able to buy a jigsaw or something like that to be able to cut the lines. I made it quite square, so all these gaps here are open and made it square to the back as well, apart from one or two little cutouts where the shock towers are at the back so very straightforward and then we'll also be utilizing these tie down points at the back to fix it to the back so it doesn't actually jump up um, when we pull the fridge out with the weight moving forward so we're going to go ahead and wrap these in carpet very easy very straightforward um, and then we can go fitting everything in the back see how it looks and then we can go fit our fridge slide the first thing i want to take care of are these side plates these are the ones with the actual base will be sitting on um, they are lev is 68 the width is 14 so I made it a little bit higher than normal I was going to use probably half the size but I made it 14 just to sit just above this gap here that way can be we can use that storage underneath and we can also uh, pull the table out as well so I'll be wrapping these in carpet so they look like this very flush so that way when you actually look at it on the bottom it's just a dress up thing to make it look a little bit neater even though it's a cheap ass car um just to make it look a little bit prettier and add a little bit of protection from it moving around and rubbing it on the plastics so this is just cheap marine carpet from bunnings um so what we're going to do is wrap the corners first go along and wrap the sides using our staple gun very easy very straightforward So I always go along and tack the front first, and that way I can make a little cut at each side. Now I'm definitely not a professional at doing carpet, as you can see uh, by that bodge job there, but it does the job, it makes it look semi-tidy, so if you guys are any better, maybe you can leave me some tips down below in the comment on how to wrap this a little bit better. I'm kind of just going off what kind of feels natural when you're doing like um, presents and Christmas presents um, and stuff like that. So you normally get one of the corners, push that forward a little bit more, and then kind of fold at the same time. 
make a nice beautiful seam there like that like that as you can see I've cut it up before I've used it for multiple things around the garage um, it's actually really good carpet don't mind at all oh yeah it doesn't look too bad little, nice little foldy fold there like that all right so we're going to go along finish that off and then we'll jump onto the next part right, now that we've got both sides um, nice and carpeted up and looking perfect it's time to get onto the back ones now with the back ones in the CRV they come with these perfect little tie down points at the back that we're going to use to be able to secure the back of the frame um, now because we're going to have the fridge there and when we pull the fridge out the weight's going to be moving back this way um, we want a way to be able to secure these blocks here down now these are just off cuts um, from these I was dealing with I want to keep it within the same length, the same thickness, and the same height. So I just use the offcut. It'd be better if we had one full length of timber to make it more more secure. But we're going to kind of make it work with what we've got. Putting it the timber behind that tie down point, then using one of our screws to actually secure it, and just kind of sitting it on the top um, of that tie down point. That way, it moves a little bit, but it's not too bad at all. The main thing is to stop it bouncing up um, and moving forward um, when we are moving the fridge out. We're also going to go down on a little bit of an angle as well. So it grabs it. And that's it. And that's all going to stop it just rolling forward and bouncing up as well. So it's nothing too secure, it's not bolted down to the floor or anything, but it's enough to stop it moving forward. And kind of bouncing up um, as we're driving. So that's pretty much it. We're going to get our base there. Now our base is the measurements of the base. Our actual top part um, to go in there is I've cut at 104.5. So 104.5 long. And then I've made two cuts where the um, shock towers now I've cut made the cuts at 63 deep um, and then I've made the cuts at 85 long so width wise at the longest point is 104.5 and at the smallest point is 87 and then that one is 63 deep um, you can manipulate it how you want curve it with a jigsaw if you want whatever you already want and then we've just lined it in marine carpet that we had left over from our jeep go ahead put that in move that light out of the way would definitely help now these ones here the corner ones are pushed hard against where the shock tower is and it's got a little gap here at the front you can shift that all the way over all the way forward depending on what you want and then I've left a little gap just there that way if I need to access the shock towers at some point I can and cut that bit of carpet but should fit something like that these ears and we've got all this room down the bottom you can see our planks of wood all the way at the back there I'm not going to carpet them because you will never see them. I want to screw through this into here and through here into the back ones as well to screw it down. And then we've got all this room down the base here for all our clear bags. It's enough room, just enough room to be able to get the table out, to get all the gear out, stuff like that. It's not a whole bunch of room, but it's enough. All right, let's screw this down, jump onto the next part.
All right, so that's pretty much it for today, guys, on how to set up the back of your CRV for camping. Now, the other thing I've really been using a lot of mosquitoes, this is what the issue is working outside all the time, um, is these clear bags from Kings. Um, they are amazing. I actually bought four of these from Marketplace for like 20 bucks and got another two of them from Kings and a little toilet bag for like 30 bucks. So they're really handy. We use ones, this one for diapers and wipes and stuff, but they, you can see exactly what you've got inside instead of using like the hard cases and drawers and stuff like that. And they fold up real tight. You can push them into tight spaces. You can push them all the way back to the very back um, if you want. Um, and they fit in this little gap that we've got perfectly. Another thing is we've got as well, this has worked out really well, is you can still fully access the table in the back of the CRV. With plenty of storage. So you can actually get these clear bags, put them underneath, um, Put them underneath and you've still got plenty of storage in the back there. You can crow fit four to five of these um, clear bags underneath the um, actual platform and the table of these as well. So heats room. Heats room, um, we can utilize the things we wanted. We've got extra space, more space than we actually um, thought we had. So the other things we might do as well is maybe some lights um, around here so we can flick them on um, at night time to get some drinks and some stuff like that. We do have this little LED light there, but it's not that bright. Um, so we might learn, uh, try and upgrade that. or might do some, I don't know, ferro lights or something like that. Um, but heap of storage, guys, heaps of storage. So if you guys like this video, um, please let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys are doing. If you're Honda CRV, um, we're either traveling around the country, whether you're New Zealand, Australia, America, Canada, wherever, uh, let me know in the comments below where you guys are heading and how you guys are kitting out your CRV. Um, now we'll be doing some how-to videos on the CRV as well. We've got to replace the VTEC um, gasket, our solenoid gasket. We've got to replace the AC compressor and the condenser um, as well. So we've got cold AC when we are traveling around. Um, we're going to do paint correction. We're going to really tidy this up and make this a really good overlanding uh, budget um, family overlanding build. So we're going to do roof racks, roof baskets, uh, tires, paint the wheels, getting look really nice but the first point of call for me was the interior one it was dirty it was nasty so we've cleaned it all up we've got it looking good um and now we've got it set up for camping so if we want to go camping trip next weekend plug this into our battery we're good to go pack the sleeping bag paint the tent um as well pretty much good to go so i hope you guys liked this video and if you did um please hit the like and subscribe button i really hope this video has helped you set up the back of your crv for your next camping adventure as always guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next time.